Nina. Are you ready? Raise your paw. Because we start right now. <laughs> that was so... This year sure went by fast. It was just like yesterday. Josh and Connor handed you and Jack the pulse. Oh, hey, Susie. I wonder how they're doing, though. Actually, let's go check in with them. All right. That milk was definitely expired. You know what, Susie? This is our final regular week for our seniors. I know. I can't believe finals week is happening when we come back from our three-day weekend. Yeah, and there's also a different bell schedule for next week. Starting on Tuesday, second period is from 8 to 9.25, and third period from 9.30 to 10.55 with a five-minute break in between. Wednesday is fourth and fifth period, eight to 9.25. Sixth period is 9.30 to 10.55 with a five minute break in between. The final day will be Thursday, first period from eight to 9.25 and seventh period from 9.30 to 10.55 with a five minute break in between. With the end of the year coming, we can see all the hard work people have been putting in. Let's hear more about that. Hey Panthers, we have a special announcement. Some of our Panthers have worked really hard this past year with academic and sports. So here's a video acknowledging your fellow classmates. Wellesley College alumni provide the Wellesley College Book Award. This award is given to a female student from the junior class who has shown exceptional character and a strong academic record while adding significant contributions to their class and community. They have the potential to attend a four-year Ivy League university. This year's recipient and representative from Coconut High School is Tatum Brosnan. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Good job. So each year, junior students are invited to apply to be our representative for Boys State or Girls State. This year, the Coconino Boys State representative is Brennan Motes. Thank you, Brennan. Enjoy your leadership experience this summer. Thank you. Alexandra Baumier enrolled in Coconino High School with a vision of herself in a medical profession after graduation. During her four years, she has completed medical professions foundations, emergency medical services, and certified nursing assistant as a caveat program student. Between dual enrollment and caveat programs, she will graduate with 29 college credits. Alex is taking her fourth science course, including AP Environmental and AP Biology. If I were asked to describe Alex in one word, it would be tenacious. She accepts each challenge to her dream and moves past obstacles with the determination of a woman focused on her future. Alex will use her medical skills to give greater service to others. Ultimately, Alex would love to pursue veterinary medicine. Congratulations, Alex, for being selected as the caveat student of the year for Coconino High School. You don't make me cry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lucia Schreifenberger and I'm presenting the New Day Peace Leadership Award. This student has leadership skills in conflict resolution and mediation, a positive and effective style of communication, peaceful problem solving abilities, and continually chooses methods of nonviolence to deal with issues. This award is sponsored by the Flagstaff New Day Peace Center and members for Veterans of Peace. And this award goes to Nicole Brendel. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So it is an honor and a privilege for me to present two very special awards to two very special students. So we will start with the Certificate of Special Congressional Recognition. The Congressional Award recognizes the setting and meeting of goals in four program areas, voluntary public service, personal development, physical fitness, and expedition and exploration. Based on time commitments to each of the areas, participants earn bronze, silver, or gold Congressional Award Certificates and bronze, silver, or gold Congressional Award Medals. This year, the certificates go to honor two very special students, Araya Kugler and Sarah Chatter. Araya, here is your certificate. Thank you. You're welcome and congratulations. Thank you. Okay. And the next award is the Respect, Responsibility, and Integrity Award. This award is a three-part award that goes to one outstanding student based on our Coconino High School guiding principles, respect, responsibility, and integrity. This is a long description. This award is presented to a senior student who displays a high level of respect each and every day in all of her actions. The recipient is kind and courteous in all of her interactions at our Coconino High School community. This student stands out among her peers and has earned a great deal of respect from her fellow students, teachers, and all who know her. 
This senior student displays responsibility towards school, family, peers, and as a citizen in our CHS community. She stands out through her actions, exemplary attendance, promptness, work ethic, follow through, and strong character. This student is also recognized for displaying outstanding personal integrity here at Coconino and in all she does. She gives, gives selflessly to support those around her and doing the right thing to promote the success of others. She stands out among her peers and goes out of her way to help and support those in need by always being there for them, offering academic help and a shoulder to lean on wherever and whenever needed. The recipient of the Respect, Responsibility, and Integrity Award goes to Carly Astros. Carly, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, my name is Coach uh, Mike Moran. I'm the head basketball coach at Coconino High School, and I'm here with Harding Eddy, one of the star players in our basketball program the last four years, and I'm here to honor Harding with the Stan Townsend Basketball Award at Coconino High School. Stan Townsend is uh, the first basketball coach here in 1967, won a couple of state championships. He's an honorable man, a good friend of mine, and it's a great honor for me to award this Stan Townsend Award, this basketball award, the highest basketball award we have to Harding Eddy, one of the great leaders, one of the great players at Coconino High School. So there you go, Harding. That's Congratulations. It was a great four years at Coconino High School. I appreciate this award. Uh, thank you. So. That's good. All right. Good job, Harry. Yeah, thanks, Coach. All right, buddy. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. My name is Coach Moran. I'm the head boys basketball coach at Coconino High School, and I'm here today to present the Stan Townsend Basketball Award uh, to Courtney Begay. And uh, it's a great honor, Stan Townsend was the, the first coach here at Coconino High School in 1967, a tremendous man, I know him personally, and uh, he's had a big impact on this school, and so have you, Courtney. Congratulations, the Stan Townsend Basketball Award for Coconino High School. Thank you. Congratulations. We did it, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I am Coach Motes. I am the track and field coach here at Coconino High School, and I'm here to present the Russell E. Schweitzer Award. Um, the Russell E. Schweitzer Award is, was established in uh, 1973 and it is awarded to each, uh, each year to a male and female track and field athlete who have demonstrated extreme dedication to their teams. Both these students are excellent students both on the field and in their classroom. I'd like to award this to Woodland Smith and John Uliberry. Our Russell E. Schweitzer uh, Memorial Award for 2018. Hi, I'm Jeremiah Smith and I teach U.S. History here at Coconino High School. I'm here to present the CHS Outstanding Career Athlete Award to two individuals recognized as one male and one female senior student here at CHS. The award goes to Bryce Wright and Dana Parker. I'm here to present the Fred Stackhouse Scholar Award. This award is given annually to a male and a female senior student. The winners must excel in the classroom and have lettered in at least two varsity sports. And the recipients are Samuel Lassley and Dana Parker. So we wanted to announce our recipients of the 2018 Teacher Spirit and Excellence Awards. For the Spirit Award, the senior class chose someone who has been a huge part in all of our Spirit Weeks and sporting events, as well as helping out our students. This teacher has been a great example for all of us, and we are proud to present Ms. Chavez Vesley with this award. And now for the Excellence Award, we chose a teacher who exemplifies what it means to be compassionate, trusting, and dedicated. Ms. Casados, the award receiver, has shown these amazing traits throughout her time teaching at Coconino High School, and we'd like to recognize her for those things. Congratulations to Ms. Casados and Ms. Chavez Vesley for their achievements this year. Thank you for everything.
this week. Well, I'm glad you joined me for this pulse. Do I get paid for this? No, wait, you got paid before? Oh, yeah. And is it pushing it if I say I have a cringy joke? Cringy? Yeah, all your jokes are cringy. They're dad jokes, first of all, and let me hear it. Why did Cinderella not make the basketball team? Because she kept running away from the ball? How? Come on, you literally just said I'm the master of cringy jokes. Mm, told you. So, and now as always, face your fierce Panthers, Panthers are. Hey! Hey! Yeah!